Bonjour, Lucha FM here for another episode of the So Show Youth Only Save. Um, just to let you know, yes, I am very brave and wearing a Man United shirt the day after we lost 3 0 to Spurs. Um, so, yeah, so please feel sorry for me. But, yeah, um, last episode we had a really good episode. We played two games in Europe, but we won both of them, and we won all the games in the league that we played as well. So, it was a really good episode. Um, we currently lie fourth or fifth in the league. Great starts of the season so far, unexpected as well. But can we sustain that? That's the thing that I worry about the most. Uh, people who watch my Coventry save will know that for a fact that the good times don't always last. And um, I'm hoping that that does. I hope I don't jinx myself. And this episode is basically me just losing every game. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Anyway, short and sweet, just the way I like it. I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the season. First game of the episode. Right, so here we are. As I said, um, we we lost to Rennes and we lost to Nantes. But other than that, we beat Rosenberg, Udinese, Marseille, Lille, Lyon, Anderlecht. So doing very well in the Europa League as well. Uh, currently second, only just behind Villarreal. And then in Ligue 1, we're currently fifth. Six wins, one draw and three losses. Who did we lose to? Oh yeah, of course, PSG as well. So 19 points, not too bad at all. Um, our first game of this episode is against Troyes. I feel like we should beat them. Um, so I'll just quick look to see if there's any major changes in the team here. No, I think it's pretty straightforward. Villa in goal because we got rid of um, Popal either the last episode or the episode before. So Villa will probably be our main goalkeeper for the rest of the season at least. Murray is back up. We have got um, Rulat, Rulat or whatever his name is as well. He's either injured or out on loan. I can't remember which one. I think he's out on loan. Right, corner to Troyes. Yeah, Man United, absolutely abysmal performance. I was ashamed to be a Man United fan yesterday. Um, I don't think Eric's chances of keeping his job are going to be good at the moment. I think I think the players have given up for him. Um, oh, great goal by Angeli there. The player's going to need to take certain responsibility, but I also think that the manager needs to take responsibility as well. And I just think he's not... He's, his style of play just doesn't suit our players, and it doesn't matter how many players he gets in, that used to play for him, it just doesn't seem to fix in the issue that we've got. So unless he drastically changes the style of play, which I don't think he's going to do, um, I don't think we're I don't think he's gonna be in the job for very long. I think I think if he's here by Christmas I'll be amazed. But then who who replaces him? That's the question. Um I don't want Southgate or Potter. Uh I, I would love as a short I, I don't really want a short term solution but for a couple of seasons, maybe Maximo Allegri, the former Juventus manager, but I don't, I don't, I think we need somebody that that can build the project. We have somebody that's known to play young players and the style of play that that's that, that that the players that we've got can play. We need somebody who knows straight away what he's doing and the style of play he wants to play, and then gets the players to implement that style. I think Ten Hag, Ten Hag tried that. But his style of play just doesn't seem to want to work for the players that we've got. So we need. I, th I think as much as I'm, I'm not one to get rid of managers as soon as it starts going badly. But I do think that the players just aren't up for playing how he wants to play. And I think he will. Ten Hag. Oh, nearly. Um, Ten Hag will go on and have a very good managerial career outside Man United. I, I, I think he'll go to like Germany and do really well there or Italy or back to Holland and he will have a decent to good career as a club manager and probably eventually go on to manage the Holland national team and if he hasn't done that already, maybe he's done that already, I don't know. But um, yeah, like I said, I think he will do well. He did, he did really well in his first season with Man United but, you know, the injury problems last season and then this season just we just can't seem to get going my dad told me because he's a Spurs fan that Man United didn't have a single shot registered for the whole of the first half in that game and that does not surprise me at all 
we've got three strikers and none, none of them are in form at the moment. In Hoyland's defence, he's been injured. Um, Xerxes not... I feel like he's just another Weghorst. Good goal there by Pinto. Um, Hoyland's okay. And then I think Rashford is obviously better as a... as like a inside forward. But then again, he, he scores. He had, he had a good week last week and then this week he didn't... He was, Invisible in the game against Spurs, barely seeing him have the ball. So yeah, tough times ahead for Man United fans. We're not used to uh, things going wrong for us. We've had many, many years under Alex Ferguson where everything went right for us. <laughs> right, two 0 after thirty-seven minutes in this game. Um, ooh, I just want to say thank you as well to the people who did watch this um, the, the last week's episode. It got quite a lot more views than I was expecting. So I really appreciate you doing that. Um, thank you for people who did watch the video all the way to the end. Um, the analytics showed that some did and some didn't. But, you know, the fact that, that, that people gave this video a try, I appreciate it. If it's not your cup of tea, that's fine. My personality is somebody like you'll either like or you'll hate. Pr pretty much like Marmite. Have I used up all my subs already? I have. Oh, by the way, I had, I had a decent win on the football. I did a bookings treble in the Newcastle Man City game. And uh, it managed to come in as well. I had Bruno, Gomez, Joe Linton, and I can't remember who the other... I can't remember who the Man City player was. Uh, Kovacic. I had them three. And they all got booked. And I won £180. So uh, that was much needed. That helped. That paid... For our shopping and I also got to treat my girlfriend and me to a KFC and um, I gave her some money towards the getting her MOT sorted on her car so thank you William Hill I do appreciate your help but yeah it was, wasn't too bad of a weekend a bit boring didn't really do anything but I don't mind that did I oh oh bloody hell a free kick and then we had the rebound hit the post I'm really hoping that I win the league un by the time this save finishes before FM25. I've still got plenty of time. We're only in the first, coming towards the first week of October now. So we've still got two months because I think they said the end of November it was coming out. So I think that's plenty of time about for me to do it. I could probably get another, after this season, I could probably get another season or two maybe. But it just depends if we can get it done in that time. We might not be good enough to get it done by then. Patricio, oh, hit the post again. That's offside anyway. But yeah, 2 0. Not a bad start to the episode. We are up to second place now. I would be buzzing if we finish the season the second. And then hopefully next season we can try and really try and test PSG. Um, in this save, they've still got Mbappe, they've got Masala, they've got a ridiculous amount of good players still in the prime years of their life. But yeah, not a bad start to the episode. Right then, you know the score. I'll be back in a sec with the next part, uh, next match. Right, we're back and we've now got um, the game versus Nice. Um, pretty much the same team as last time, so we'll just crack on. I suppose it usually is the same, pretty much the same team when you're doing a youth only save. We started the game quite sharply. We've had two shots and uh, two on target. Six minutes played. It's quite promising. Oh, nicely done, Angeli. Angeli is going to, like, on this on this particular save, he's probably going to end up becoming like a world class player. He's just too he's too good for us. Oh my god, they they're having a nightmare here. They're going to cop up in a second. They're going to cop up any second now. Look at this. They're just asking for it. I mean, if they get out of this now, there you go. Goal. Oh, they were so lucky there that we didn't convert that. They are very nervous, but they've got the ball. They managed to get the ball. Oh, we got it back though. Right, another high oh no, highlight to them. They got Dembele. I keep forgetting Nisa got Dembele. Still pretty good even at his age. 
That was a sneaky little shot that was. That was an own goal, was it? Okay. After all that promise at the start of the game, they go and score. 1-0, yet yeah, they've had zero shots on target. We've been FM'd, everybody. We've been absolutely FM'd. We've had to take Bastion off already, which is not good. Angeli is pretty good at free kicks. Oh, okay, that was a waste. Should have gone for it yourself there, Angeli. Pinto, get in. 1-1. One, one. Normal service has resumed. Good goal there. Good little finish. Nice little setup there by Pinto. Who's becoming a very good fullback right now. Him and Patricio probably be a good fullback combination if Bastion leaves, I suppose. I don't want Bastion to ever leave though. Him and Kofi are my favourite players on this save. Followed by probably Angeli, if I'm honest with you. Right, 1-1. One, one. Hopefully we can turn things around and get the winner. Mugen. Oh, no. Gastrin gets the ball back. Pinto. Get in there, Didot. 2-1. Turn the game around. To be honest, though, we were the better team. We shouldn't have been losing to these chumps. Right, Paisley's come off because he's got 6.1 rating, mostly because of that own goal. We'll put some Massa on. And then we'll take off Gastrin because he's not playing particularly well. Tournier can come on for you. I think everybody else is playing relatively well other than that. Patricio with the ball. Passes it inside to Guggenard, back to Patricio, now to Didot. Didot, ooh, nearly sets up Angeli. Corner to us. Fresh faces are now on. Free kick to Nice. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why he tried to header that out instead of picking up with his pissing hands. Sorry for swearing. We uh if we keep this lead and we win this game, we're nine points behind PSG. So we've still got a hell of a gap. You've gotta literally have PSG you've gotta have the perfect season and barely lose, and PSG have gotta have like a bad season for them. Get in. Kofi, ninth goal of the season for him. Another assist by Pinto. Yeah, it's very hard to win the French League, especially with a team that you're only Basically, using players from a youth team. But yeah, we'll see. Like I said, it'd be nice to win either the French League or as a booby prize if I win the French Cup. As long as I feel like I've won something, maybe I could win the Europa League one season. We'll see. I think I would need three or four seasons maybe to topple, finally topple PSG. And I don't think we'll have the time to do that. Right, 4-1. Nice result. Two wins back to back in this episode. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I should just answer this press conference. Uh, high profile I don't want the niece job. I'll just beat them. Why would I want to go to the team I just destroyed? Have a word with yourself, journalists. Right, uh, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, I'm back. We are playing Olympiacos in a minute in the Europa League. Um, I just have a correction to make. I completely forgot that we actually still have Popal. Um, he's here till January, so we're not going for much longer. Um, but then he's going in January for two million to Sunderland we have got a percentage of profit on the next deal as well so good luck to him that's all I can say but he's back in goal um, playing Olympiacos Bastion's still in the team he's luckily not too injured after last game so yeah let's carry on like I said usual lineup. hopefully we can make it three wins out of three here the episode 
Pinto. Passes it across to Dugno. Cardon. Ooh, nearly. Corner to us. Floated up. Kofi. Ah, at least nothing in the end. What a pointless hider that was. Okay, start so far. Tested their goalkeeper out. We've been the dominant team, as you can see. Five shots, two on target. They've had zero shots so far. Kofi across to Gastrin. Oh, beautiful. What a run that was. What a run and what a finish. Fourth goal of the season for Gastrin. He's starting to... Um, he didn't play well last game, but he is starting to do really well for us. Nice to see another one on the on the convey uh, come off the conveyor belt. Only seventeen years old, got plenty of time to improve. He's already doing well this season. He'll only get better. Right. I think uh, us scoring has given him a kick up the backside now by the looks of it. Oh, no, maybe not. Defensive mistake there. Kofi punishes them with a great finish. Tenth goal of the season for Kofi. Get in. The main man does it again. He obviously listened to my criticism a couple of episodes ago. 28 years old, though, he's starting to, uh, he will start to decline, which is a shame. But like I said, he has scored a tremendous amount of goals for us so far. Could ask for a goal scoring record. You couldn't ask for anything better. Right, two 0 coming up to half time. Oh, another highlight corner to us. Just headed over. Right, that's our first half finish with. Pinto lobs it up. Beautiful header. Kofi again. 11 goal of the season for him. Second goal in the game, I think. Yep. He's uh, close to getting a hat trick by the looks of it. 3 0. Top of the Europa League at the moment. Paisley. Pinto with the ball now. He's very good at... Oh, he literally put that on a silver plate for Rangeli there. Um, I've been watching... Me and my girlfriend's been watching that wrestling document... Uh, wrestling drama series on Netflix called Queen of Villains based on a true story about um female Japanese wrestler oh, what a finish. Um Japanese wrestler Dub Mash Hashimoto Mashimoto something I can't remember her name now. But I I'd recommend watching it. It's very good. It's very, very good. He, like she she likes watching wrestling my girlfriend, but she really she's really into the the characters in this drama because she's very she's very pro women and she likes women to be like you know, sticking up for themselves and so on. So she likes the the, the storyline going on with this this show. It's only six parts an hour each, but um, I highly recommend it. Very good. Right, four nil off. Are we going to get another one? Oh, Kofi nearly got his hat trick. Right, Angeli will take you off. Right, I'll put zero on. Will they get a consolation goal? They don't. Good tip over by Popal, I think. Oh no, he didn't touch it. Didn't have a touch on it. LeBron. Uh, Pinto probably do with coming off. Oh no, what have I done there? Right, let me pause this so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. There we go. Did up with the ball. Cardon, what a ball. Kofi gets his hat trick. 
very good anticipation there to figure out that the, he was going to get the rebound off that. But yeah, game over. 5 0. I really don't. I really hope we don't end up playing Liverpool in the next round. Oof. Um, I don't think we played Liverpool. I think I think the top eight play teams in the top in the bottom. I can't remember now. I could be completely wrong. Actually, that wouldn't make sense. We definitely end up playing a top eight team. I can never. They keep changing the formats of all these different leagues all the time. I can't keep up. Right, Zerbo's out for a couple of weeks. We are doing well financially at the moment as well. Um, currently 20 million in the bank. Projected to lose by the end in the free season side 1.76 million. I you can't complain with that one. And I guarantee we'll probably make more money. If we get Champions League football, for instance, that's 12 million. So but we are currently third now. <coughs> right. I'll just holiday three days. There's no point in me um, going off to come back on again for you lot because this will literally take seconds. Da -da 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 -da. Playing Lens next. Um, recently got a RC Lens football shirt, for, uh, vintage one from like 2011 or something, which is really nice. I was quite happy with that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to buy any more football shirts for a while. So my finances get better. Uh, have we got any wonder kids? Oh, they're the best players in the world. Mbappe, as you can imagine, still best player in the world. Still at PSG. Because when I started this save, it was um, the database wasn't up to date. Obviously, we got quite a few. We got a few French players here. So like Saliba, uh, Saliba, whatever his name is, as well. Is that it? I see it in the top ten anyway. Couple of English players, couple of German, usually the case, couple of Brazilians. Right, yeah, so we're playing Lens, they are seventh. Uh has anything changed in the lineup by the looks of it? Cardon's in the centre of midfield, which is not usually his best position, but we'll leave it for now. But other than that, pretty much straightforward. <coughs> See if we can get another victory. It's been a good episode so far. Three games, three wins. Paisley. Playing it out from the back by the looks of it. Angeli. Gives it to Mugen. Now with Pinto. Gastrin. What's he going to do? Gastrin passes it inside to Angeli who finishes it nicely. 1-0 to us. Lovely juggly. After this game, I will take a um I will take a, a sip of water as uh, my voice is sounding very croaky. Right. Will Lens get uh get back in the game here? It's a hell of a cross that is. We were very lucky here at the post then. This will be a tougher game than what we've had all episode, I think. I'm just trying to have a look at the table, see if there was any surprises, but there isn't really. It's a pretty straightforward French league season by the looks of it. The teams that you expect to be at the top are at the top, and the teams you expect to be at the bottom are at the bottom. I still can't believe that season that we did when we had Bordeaux and sent NTN in the in League Two. I don't know how we, we I don't know how we got up that season. Or do we have to get, did we go up the next season? I think we went up the next season. Ah, uh, one oh one one no VR. Oh no, did they have VR in the? Yeah, they do. Right, let's check. Ah, it's a shame. Right, one one. First goal we probably conceded for a while by the looks of it. Free kick to them, which does concern me. They're taking their sweet bloody time as well. 
Sergio Gomez. Very, very close to going in. But we're still drawing, which is good. No, 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 no. That's it. Get that out. Good defensive play here. We've still got the ball, though. They're going to have another go here. Ah, I just knew it was going to happen. Okay. We won't get too worried. Now I'm getting worried. Oof. No, it's all right. We can, we can relax. Right. 2-1 down at half time. Let's go fire up to see if that makes any difference. Um, Gastrin, I'll take you off. Dumas can come on for you. Uh, I'll take off Bastian. We'll put on Vincent Fernandez. I think he hasn't played for us yet, so we'll give him a debut. Hopefully that'll be a good thing and he'll do well. We'll see. We've got more bloody injuries. We can't take anybody off. Not injuries. Knackered players, sorry. Fernandez passes it to Dumas. Dumas loses the ball but managed to keep it. Bugnard and Paisley passes it all the way back to Popal. This is not... This is quite concerning. We're passing it backwards. Come on. Let's get some combos going. There we go. Beautiful passing now. Oh, look at that. Come on. Hernandez scores on his debut. What a goal. What a goal. We've got our replacement for Bastian if he ever leaves. We've got a new player here as well, Gerard. He's only come on once as a sub. Has Hernandez played for us before? Ah, I would have looked if I could have got away with them. Right, 2-2. Two -two. Let's get... Another goal before the end of this game. Come on, we need to keep our winning streak going. Uh, Lens with the ball though. Karim, uh, Kalim Muko, whatever his name is. Oof, we were lucky then. Thank God. Right, let's have a look. Has Hernandez played for us yet? No. So this is his debut. And what a debut as well. 19 years old. He's, back, he's, he's been here for a while actually, to be honest. Um, he's mostly playing for the reserves. But yeah, good look. he's a good little backup if we need to. Scores on his debut, what more can you ask for? Been the best been our best player so far since he's come on by the looks of it. Got some tired legs here though, we're gonna have to rest some players the next game, I think. Right, two two, I'll take that at the end of the day. Right, we haven't got a game for fourteen days, so you know the score. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we're back and we're playing um, Toulouse. Um, so let's get going. See how we get on. Good interception by Angeli. He drives it forward, passes it across to Gastrin. Gastrin, Gastrin now uses his pace to get past the players. What can he do? Passes it beautifully to Kofi. Kofi with his 13th goal of the season. Great. Um, combination there between our three attacking players of Gastrin, Angeli and Kofi. But yeah, good start to the game. 1-0 to us. Nope. Lebrun. Even though we only lost one point in the last... Last game, we've gone we've from second to fourth, which is which tells you how tight it is at the top of and positions at the moment. Everyone trying to play uh, second best to PSG. Oh, I think that took a deflection. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Look at that. It's like three... Well, well. If I win this game, they'll be literally one point behind me, Monaco and Marseille. That's a big if at the moment, though. Uh, oof, 
getting worried then. Right, come on, let's turn this around. Angeli with the tackle, but they've still got possession offside by the looks of it. No. Nope. Ah. 2 1, favour again. Right, let's try and demand a bit more. We haven't really ha had many shots in this game so far. I think I'll take off LeBron. Um, he's not 100% and he's playing poorly as well. Take off and no, we'll leave the rest for now, just in case. I think we're giving a day view to Hart off. Let's just have a quick look. Lee, uh, Lee Hart uh, Hartock. Yeah, he hasn't played for us yet. So he makes his debut for the first team. Nice to see some fresh faces making a debut this season. Which is usually the course with us, but it's nice to see some new faces. Hernandez, who's playing today. That was a bit of a waste of a opportunity there, Hernandez. Mugen. Beautiful pass. Did up. Is he quick enough to get it? He is. Goal, uh, defender clears it though. All right, coming. Yes, good. Oh, I thought I can get it. Got it off him then. We seem to be chomping at the legs to get the ball off him, which is good to see. Oh, he done us there. Matias Arezzo. I discovered him on Football Manager many, not many years ago, a couple of years ago. FM22, I think. Um, did a save with Rayo Vallecano. The scouts recommended him and I signed him and I picked him up on the the forums. Um, I don't think he's had that much. I don't. I can't remember what he's done in real life now. I think he went to a team in Brazil. So he's doing all right. Oh. Yeah, we're playing poorly in this game. It's not like our usual standard that we play. Uh, let's hope some fresh faces will fix it. See if we can get back in this game. Oh, the Rizzo. Set up nicely there, should have passed it really, but okay. Gastron. Tackled, unfortunately. Our throw in, will this lead to anything? Was that the end? That's the end of the highlight. Oh no, we got it back. Right, so our throw in would lead us to an opportunity here. Let's see, playing it from the back again. Heart off, across to Paisley. Hernandez. Let's see what he can do. He looks like a big physical lad. Unfortunately, he got the ball taken off him there. But he does look like a big muscly boy. By the looks of his. Uh, Figure on here. <sighs> I don't think we're going to get anything out of this game. If anything, I think they're going to score again before it's all seven done. They're just picking us apart here. Du, 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 du. Right, throw in Hernandez with the throw in to Zebo. Mugen across to Patricio. Patricio in his familiar. Uh, Went for a shot in the end. Not long now. Let's see if we can get a consolation goal. Put the pressure on in the last minute or two. Headed out. Hernandez back to Traore. Mugen. And that leads to nothing. Right, that's it. Good performance by Toulouse. They just picked us apart. They uh, beat us tactically as well. Uh, that's that. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Right, we're back for the last game of the episode. We are playing um, Zurinitsky Mosta. Um, where are they based? In Bosnia. 
Oh my god, have you just seen their full name? Here we go, let's have a go. Um, Hvatsi Sportski Klub Zarinski Mostar. That's actually quite easy to pronounce compared to some of the names I've had to pronounce playing Football Manager online before on YouTube. I've butchered some very simple names. Right then, so let's. Angeli's on the right for a change. Um, this looks like a weird combination, but oh well. Here's what it is. Thierry's back, he's been injured for a while, so nice to see him back. And uh, pretty much the same team other than that. Let's uh, end the episode with a good result. Keep us top of the league. Oh, we're second now, but we were top at the start of play. Villarreal and Freiburg have obviously took early leads in their games. Let's hope we can do the same now. Pinto with the ball. Oh, Gelly, what are you doing? Could have took an extra touch there, mate. It's quite a good, it's quite a hard eight, this one. Villarreal, Freiburgs, uh, Real Sociedad, Monaco, Roma, Liverpool, Dynamo, Zagreb. And then you got Nice just behind, POK, Schalke. Schalke would actually be a very challenging save to do on FM25 because of the financial constraints that they've got. Um, they are one of the teams I'm considering doing as my main save. Or I might I might do them as my beta save, I don't know. I definitely will probably do an online uh, a, a save with Shalk on for YouTube. I just don't know when I'll do it. Get in. 1-0. Took us a while, but we've got the goal. 1-0 to us. Did up. With a nicely placed shot back to top of the league. Good, good, good. Is there any uh, English teams in here other than Liverpool? Let's have a look. Right, not really. Oh, you got Rangers, they're British team, I suppose. Scottish. Um, West Ham, well, there you go. So there's one English team. Two English teams, sorry, Liverpool. That's about it, isn't it? Is there any other English teams? Surprised the lack of English teams in the Europa League. Uh, oh well, maybe you, I think maybe you can only have two teams in the Europa League. I don't know. I think that's it, isn't it? I think you get four teams in the Champions League, two teams in the Europa League, and one team in the Europa Conference League. Um, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. In England, I don't. I know it's different for other countries, but I think in England that's the case. I'm amazed England have been able to keep four teams in Champions League though because um, unless I'm wrong I don't think an English team has won the Champions League for a while now so you would think that Spain or um, well Spain really because I think I feel like it's right I feel like Real Madrid's won the Champions League every year now for the last four or five years but again I could be completely wrong Card on. So we're winning 2 0. Paisley with the ball. Across to Gugnard. Pinto. See what he can do. Beautiful pass. Shame for um, Didot couldn't finish it off. Pinto with the corner. Drives it ahead or in front. Oh, go on. <gasps> Pinto nearly scored there. Oh. Bit of a dirty foul. Good tackle. Um, if uh, most are get a goal here, then it'll be game on as far as they're concerned. We need to get another goal to put this to bed. Did up. I don't know who that was to. Good tackle. Oof, nearly something out of nothing there. Right, let's take Mugen off. And we'll put on Zerbo. Throw into us. Mugen. Passes it to Angeli. Thierry now, cross to Bastian. Fortunately, gets cleared. Guggenard. Pinto, oh, 
don't know who that was to. Bastion. I think we're just trying to throw anything at the throw any mud at the wall and hope it sticks, really, by the looks of it. Go on. Oh, no. That's it, Bastion. Nicely done. Paisley. We're just not giving them any chance to have the ball by the looks of it. We're just taking it off them and then going back to attacking. Which is really good to see. We need to see more of that against other opposition. We just need to dominate teams in this competition and in the French League. Go on, Didot. Yes, go on, Angeli. Fifth goal of the season for him. How much is Angeli valued at again? I can't remember. Ah, not that much now. At one point he was valued at a lot higher than that. That's a shame. Right. Uh, Thierry needs to come off. Put you on. Got Gennard. I wish it was Steve and Gerard, I tell you now. Right, 3 0, game over. We've done what we needed to do. Just take off him. Take off you. And take off. Triple substitution with just over 10 minutes to go. Hopefully some fresh legs um, will get another goal. 1-2 with between Gugnard and Gastrin. Over the top ball to Dumas. Dumas now. Oh, nearly. Pinto. Headed out. Lose the ball. Will they counter attack here? Or can we get the ball back off them? They use their space wisely there, by the looks of it. Right, not long left now. Let's just get this game done. Ah, consolation goal. Fine. We're we're okay with that. We can deal with that. Injury, we haven't got any players, so we have to. We're down to 10 men. We've got minutes to go. We've got a free kick though. We get another goal here, we can relax again. Pinto, I think they've run out of time anyway. I can't imagine they're going to get two goals in this last two minutes of the game. Oh, nearly hit the post again. I swear we hit the post about three or four times in this game. Hard on. Right, 3-1, game over. Done. Yeah. Two years out for a few weeks, but that's fine. Give did up a bit of praise. Right, so let's have a look where we are before we go. So we're fourth in the league, 14 games played, 8 wins, 2 draws and 4 losses. 26 points with 14 points behind PSG and then in the Europa League we've got 15 points we've won five games out of five so has Villarreal and Freiburg uh, let's have a quick look at the stats obviously Kofi's the main man at the moment with 13 goals best overall player is uh, Didot though and then Didot and Pinto have the most assists um, is there any transfer clauses to cash out? no we got something else, right? Let's have a look at the games we've got coming up next episode and then we'll call it a day. So, St. Etienne, Brest, Reims, um, Copenhagen, and Monaco will probably be the games we play next week. So, when are we playing PSG next? That well, we ain't got them for a while yet, but yeah, hopefully, they'll lose a few points before then and then we can get, get a bit of a close the gap on them. So, I'm just going to save the game now and then this over here so yeah anyway thank you very much for watching as always i appreciate it and i'll be back next monday with another episode enjoy the rest of your week all the best bye